second video, I'm now going to show you how I can label my chords. You will need your booklet to help you do this and make sure that you have that. Right now, I can see here that although I've labeled the rest of my chords, I've not labeled the first one. It just says chords and bass line. And for the examiner to give me full marks, I need to know what the chords are, and they do too. So I'm going to first of all click into this empty space here and drag over both chords because I can rename them at the same time. Then I'm going to right click, select name and color, and then rename regions. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name it the number of the chord progression. So in this case, it's my first one. So I'm going to type a one and this is my simple one. So I'm going to put simple in parentheses. Then I need to put the names of my chords. So I know my first one is A minor. So I'm going to put A with a little M. Then I know that my next one is F major. I can just abbreviate that with an F. Then after that, I have um, G major. So I'm just going to put a G. And then finally, I know that at the very, very end, I have got C major. So I'm just going to abbreviate that with the C. Then I'm going to hit enter and it will have changed both of my chords. You can do the same thing for all of your other chords. For more help, try watching the video again and following along.